Hi everyone. Disney princesses have gotten a mixed repu reputation over the years. Many of them are still loved today, especially ones from the Renaissance like Belle, even though even she gets some criticism from more strict and over and analyzing people. Others get increasingly negative reputations as time goes on for being passive, particularly the Walt era princesses. And one of them that gets a lot of flack, as well as her whole movie, is Cinderella. Now, I'm not going to be talking about the live action version because that one should be seen as a separate entity. And whenever I'm going to be making these videos, unless I specifically state that the live action version is not going to be mentioned. So, given that, is Cinderella as passive and weak as people say? Well, let's begin with the beginning of the story, of course. Now, when Cinderella's mother dies, her father knows that she needs a mother's care, or he believes so anyway. So he marries a woman of good family. Pfft. Right. Or so he thinks, anyway. And she has two daughters of her own. Her name is Lady Schmain, and she has her daughters, Anastasia and Drizella. But then Cinderella's father dies, and Lady Schmain shows her true nature as becoming abusive and cruel towards Cinderella. Cinderella is very young at the time, and she has the added problem of having her own grief from her own father. So she grows up her years that she would need a loving parent the most with a woman who causes her to be a slave and mentally abuses her throughout the entire film. But, as the narrator says, Cinderella remains ever kind and cheerful, and she remains positive throughout the whole movie. These are real strengths. No matter what happens, she never stops dreaming and hoping for more until the scene where she does have her hopes dashed by her stepsisters ripping her ball gown so that she is unable to go. Up until that point, she believed that she could not only have her dreams but get along with her stepfamily, only for them to keep pushing and pushing and being crueler and crueler to them, to her. And showing how much they disliked her out of jealousy and cruelty. But Cinderella never retaliates against them in any way. The only time she even comes close is considering using her broom to teach us for a lesson. But by then the ball invitation comes so we don't get to see that. As tempting as it would be for that rotten little cat. But going back to Cinderella herself. A lot of people think Cinderella's friends do things for her. And well, of course, they're her friends. But if you really pay attention, she did earn it. She earned the respect and caring and affection of the mice and birds. She makes them outfits. She saves Gus from a trap early on in the film and takes care of them and protects them from Lucifer. All of these are very important to the mice and birds. So they make it so that they're willing to do anything for Cinderella in return. Jack and Gus risk their lives to get a ball. A beads and a sash for her gown. 
and they all attack Looster when he holds Gus captive when he tries to prevent him from going to save Cinderella. And even at that moment, Cinderella just wants Lucifer to let Gus go. She doesn't care about being locked up anymore as much as her friend. So, like any good friendship, it goes both ways. And Cinderella's allies did these things for her because she deserved them for her own kindness first. And, let's talk about how abuse can make a person feel. A similar princess that was under mental abuse that doesn't get the same negative reputation as Cinderella is Rapunzel. Similar to Cinderella, Rapunzel grew up with an abusive guardian that made her stay in one place and tried to keep her from the outside world. And there we really see it affect her psyche. The same thing happened to Cinderella, but much more subtle. While she doesn't have the same feelings of anxiety as Rapunzel would, there are plenty of times in the movie when she is very rightfully afraid of Lady Tremaine. One good point, too, is when Anastasia has Gus under her teacup by mistake and runs to her mother to complain. And then we have Cinderella entering the room and we see shadows like bars almost symbolizing a prison and how nervous Cinderella is when she's trying to explain that it isn't her fault what happened only to be given more chores undeservedly in response and her begging Lady Jermaine to let her out after she's locked up in the end. This kind of abuse really does make a person feel powerless and that's exactly what Lady Tremaine wanted. Instead of hating on Cinderella for being in an environment that she couldn't control, we should be hating on Lady Tremaine for being a type of person for that. Yes, this is fiction and not real life, but the sad thing is, this happens in real life. A lot of the times, victims of abuse are shamed for not trying to get away when they're terrified of the abuser that much. And she, Lady Tremaine doesn't even have to raise a hand to Cinderella. She doesn't have any physical acts of violence other than maybe tripping the footman towards anybody in the movie. She knows that she can get through to a person psychologically and she, when she has a hold on someone like she does Cinderella, she wants to make sure that they're in total submission to her and that she's got them psychologically dependent on her and willing to do whatever she says. Even when she does tr have a situation where she could just flat out tell Cinderella no to going to the ball, instead she decides to build up her hopes and then crush them out of pure spite. One of the cruelest actions of any Disney villain. Lady Tremaine may not be the most violent or have the most heinous crimes to her, but the manner in which she goes about her actions makes her a truly nasty woman. So, as I said before, Cinderella does not deserve to be shamed for it. It takes a lot of courage to be as kind and never give up on your dreams no matter what happens. Nothing ever gets Cinderella down for too long. Even the idea of one night of happiness is more than she could have hoped for. 
But when she's given it, she's completely thankful to the fairy godmother, even though she has to go back home to more misery and servitude in the next by the next day. I feel like Cinderella is a much stronger heroine than a lot of people give her credit for. And therefore, I think that the movie is a lot more meriting than some people would claim. Sure, she might not go out and be as active as, say, Princess Tiana or Rapunzel or even Belle for changing her fate. But for princesses with courage and kindness, they don't come much more than Cinderella. So thank you again for watching this video, and if you have another video you want me to make, please leave it in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time. And remember, no matter how your heart is grieving, if you keep on believing, the dreams that you wish will come true.